What is up everyone? Today we're going to talk about how to use the dual switch grip from DJI with the control handle from DJI. So let's just get into it. What is up everyone? My name is James and this is the Engineering Filmmaker where we talk about photo, video, travel, and tech. If this is something you're interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. We also have a forum uh, in the description where you can go to to ask questions, answer questions, or grow as a community. So let's just get into the video. Let me preface by saying this control handle can be bought standalone, which would come with the control handle, the expansion, and a cable and that would be around $350, or you can buy the expansion base kit, which would come with this, plus a bunch of other things to mount the gimbal universally to really anything you need. Uh, I bought the expansion base kit. If you wanna see the video about that, feel free to hit the button above. So if you have not already seen, I just did a video about the actual arms, talked about them, how to use them, and some things you can and cannot do with them. I recommend looking at that video here. You can put your control handle on either side, I would highly recommend putting it on the left side because if you do put it on the briefcase side and you go briefcase mode, your controls will be backwards and upside down and not usable. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do obviously is attach your left side handle if you're gonna be using it and then the grip that came with it. Secondly, you're gonna wanna grab your expansion and this is going to connect to the NATO grip on the right side. You have to put this on first because this is how you're going to get power and signal from the gimbal to the controller. All right, so I've got this little guy connected over here and then you're going to connect your arm to it. All right, so this is where things get a little weird. As you can see, it's really long now, um, which I'm not a huge fan of. It adds like an extra inch, and these are already really long, even compared to the RS1, but you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. You're just gonna have a bunch of extra space on the end if that's the way you decide to use it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is attach my control handle to it, and that's pretty simple. And then last but not least, we're gonna connect the cable to the expansion and to the grip. You can connect this to either the bottom or the top. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go to the top because that makes more sense to me. And then we start with the first issue you run into. You have this cable, let me put it sideways. You have this cable hanging off the side that is quite in the way. It's just kind of obnoxious and in the way. And I feel like it could get caught on a few things. Uh, so I feel like a slightly shorter cable or some way to cable manage this, maybe some dip ties would be ideal, uh, or a way to connect the controller handle to all of this without needing the cable, have some contact points underneath, I don't know, just a thought. And then once you have all that connected, it's actually really simple and quick, uh, you'll have access to your side controller. You just turn it on and then you can control your camera from the grip which is going to be very handy because now I can finally carry around my gimbal by the handles rather than you know having one hand in the middle. I found that a majority of the time, my left arm would be taking 90% of the weight because my right arm was kind of just holding it from tipping. Uh, and it kind of got really sore on my left arm from carrying it like that all the time. And then also you still have the ability to change the mode and hit record. And then there's still your NATO mounts on the side. I don't know how usable they'll be, but you could connect something to them if you wanted to. And then you could still connect things to the bottom and a bunch of other ways. You could use this to make it a ultimate setup. You could have monitors and all this other stuff set up and you could have this really be a beefed out rig uh, with all these accessories. But that's really it. I, I'm curious, how would you use this setup if you had the actual handle on the side here? I hope this helped you out. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about the grip, the switch grip, the control grip, whatever it may be, let me know in the comment section down below and I will try to get those answered ASAP. But that's really it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.